How many of you beat yourself when you overate? Why can't I stop eating? You think that you have no discipline? You think you have no willpower? You are wrong. Maybe start to understand that your hormones dictate you more than you know. How many of you beat yourself when you overate? You said, I should have known that. I shouldn't be eating that, but it's so good. Why can't I stop eating? You blame on yourself? You think that you have no discipline? You think you have no willpower? My friend, I'm going to tell you, you are wrong. Hello everyone, I'm Sosan, dietitian, certified diabetes educator, and today I'm going to talk about the thing that we like to blame ourselves, and I want you to stop blaming yourself. It's because the truth is the hormones dictate how we eat, why we eat, and how much we eat, more than you think. Yes, willpower do play a certain role, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's not the willpower that drives us to eat. It's actually the two hormones behind that. One is ghrelin and the other is leptin. So to make it simply, think about ghrelin as your hunger hormone and think about your leptin as your fullness hormones. So let's suppose now it's before lunch, your ghrelin level should be at the highest, telling you, I'm hungry, eat. So as soon as you finish eating, your ghrelin level drop. Simple, isn't it? But your leptin hormones, on the other hand, as your ghrelin hormone drop, your leptin hormone should rise because leptin goes up to let you know you're full. Let me tell you a little bit more in detail where they're coming from. So leptin, that hormone is secreted by your fat cell. So the more fat cell you have, the more leptin you made. Ghrelin, on the other hand, is actually secreted in the lining, in the gut lining of your stomach. So it makes sense. That's why right before you're eating, you hear growling and everything to let you know I'm hungry. A lot of people think, oh, how come I cannot stop eating? It could be because you have what we call a hormonal imbalance or a leptin resistant. Because I just told you, a fat cell makes leptin. So wouldn't it make sense that the more fat cell you have, the more leptin you made, and if there's more leptin, shouldn't they tell you that you're full so that you stop eating? Unfortunately, in reality, that is not so. Because the more fat cell you make, the more leptin you have, but the leptin stop working. You have heard me talk about insulin resistant, then my friend, there's such thing as leptin resistant because there's research to show that people who are overweight or obese, they do have a high leptin level, but they do have what we call leptin resistant. So despite the fact that they higher have a high leptin, somehow that signal never gets to the brain, which is your hypothalamus to let you know, hey, I'm full, stop eating. So you will eat and eat and eat and eat until you overeat. So there's now a lot of research is trying to find out how we can make our leptin more sensitive. You know, the Chinese like to have the saying that eating 80% full, but most people eat 110% full before they put down their chopstick or their fork, right? So if you have a leptin sensitive, means that you might be eating about 80% full and you feel, okay, I'm good, and you stop. So a lot of time you don't overeat. But when you are leptin resistant, you will eat and eat and eat to maybe 110% full to a point where your stomach is so big and you would, ah, I'm not feeling comfortable and you stop before you know it you realize I overate so this is not because you have low willpower it's because your leptin failed to give you that signal to let you know you're full and this is leptin resistant and there's actually research to show that insulin resistant and leptin resistant kind of go hand in hand so if you have leptin resistant you're more likely to have insulin resistant if you have insulin resistant you're more likely to have leptin resistant there's a lot of research to show that there's, there's an interconnectedness and this is why I want to tell you next time when you overate, don't beat yourself. More or less ask yourself, is it could be that you have leptin resistant? And if it's so, how do we resolve that problem? And I always say the best way to resolve a problem is knowing the root of the problem. You will say, because I have extra weight, which you just told me, if I have extra weight, I might make more leptin, but I'm leptin resistant. Yes, losing the fat can help, but also knowing what drives the insulin up too high, which I talk about insulin resistance all the time, can also help. There's also research to show that when you have a higher inflammation in your body, it makes the leptin more resistant. So I'm telling you all this to let you know that to solve that problem is not a one thing, it's a combination of making different changes. All this will help and it's never one thing. So next time before you start blaming yourself for overeating, maybe start to understand that 
let your hormone dictate you more than you know. If you find this information helpful and start to wondering how can I help myself, check out my other video on insulin resistance. You have a better understanding and you start to see more connection to that. And until then, 食得有型，活得健康。I will see you next time. Bye everyone.